Fairgrounds Speedway, Major League Soccer, and the battle over NASCAR in Nashville, Tennessee. That's next on the Monday Morning Racer. <laughs> Hello NASCAR fans, this is the Monday Morning Racer, I'm the host Lee Craft, and if you would, give this video a like, subscribe to this channel, and I will attempt to keep you up to date on NASCAR news and news throughout the world of motorsports. Well, let's turn our attention to news coming out of the state of Tennessee, in particular Nashville. Now Nashville's claim to fame is that it is the state capital of Tennessee. Also, it's the capital of country music with having the Grand Ole Opry within its limits and the Country Music Hall of Fame along with the Johnny Cash Museum. It's home of Centennial Park, Vanderbilt University, the pharmacy, which I think has the best burger in the entire world, but it is also home to a great short track, and that is Fairground Speedway in Nashville, Tennessee at the Fairgrounds. The Fairground Speedway there in Nashville has a long and storied history. In fact, it dates back to 1904 when it was a dirt oval that occasionally would even host a horse race or two. The configuration that we're familiar with, though, began in 1957. It was converted then to a half-mile paved oval with about 18 degrees of banking. And that track that we're familiar with has hosted weekly racings for decades and has even hosted trucks, Xfinity, and NASCAR Cup races, NASCAR Cup leaving there in the early 80s. At that track, though, you have had a who's who of stock car racing individuals that have raced on that asphalt there in Nashville. Stars such as the entirety of the Alabama gang, Cuckoo Marlin, Sterling Marlin, Daryl Waltrip, Bill Elliott, and Dell Earnhardt to name a few. If you go to their website and look at the competitors that have raced there and done so weekly, it is again a who's who of stock car competitors, past, present, and future stars. Now recently, NASCAR announced that they were going to move the awards banquet for NASCAR to Nashville, which is a great move. Nashville has the great downtown scene and nightlife and entertainment values and tourism values to have the NASCAR awards banquet. So a great move by NASCAR. Not only that, but the Fairgrounds Speedway recently released a hype video basically calling NASCAR back to bring the top series back to that venue for great racing action. And the time is right because NASCAR recently with the 2020 schedule release showed they're willing to shake things up and by 2021 contracts expire and NASCAR will be looking for new places to go race, some old, some brand new, and Nashville seems to be on the list with the hype, with the move of the awards banquet, and then the fan base. NASCAR fans are calling for NASCAR to go back with the top series. Now, it would take investment. NASCAR seems to think that that investment will happen. They seem to be in agreement with the track itself and uh, the officiating board of NASCAR, but there does seem to be a problem that nobody has mentioned but we're about to mention it here on the Monday Morning Race. The problem is this. NASCAR may not be going back to Nashville at all with its top series, and in fact, weekly racing might wind up in the grave. Let's look at the problem. The problem with NASCAR racing going back to the fairground speedway at Nashville deals with the very town of Nashville itself. You see, there may be a lot of history. There may be a lot of hype. There may be a lot of calls from NASCAR fans for racing to go back to Nashville at the Fairgrounds Speedway, but Nashville as a town already has other plans for the Fairgrounds Complex. Look at an article in the Tennessean, a newspaper from Tennessee, which describes the situation that is a roadblock for NASCAR racing going back to the fairground speedway. In an article published on April 4th, 2019, entitled MLS Stadium Project Potential Roadblock for NASCAR's Return to Nashville. In this article, they admit that you have NASCAR 
and the Speedway entity that owns the fairgrounds or charters it from the fairground complex, that they have got together and they have talked and they've discussed an expansion. The article shares within this, Earlier this year, Speedway Motorsports and current track operator Tony Formosa entered into a subcontractor agreement that clears the way for NASCAR's return to Nashville. Both Speedway Motorsports and NASCAR have said Nashville is an ideal market for a future race. And it definitely is with the nightlife, the entertainment, tourism. It has all the amenities necessary. It is a great place to go for a race. People want to go back to short tracks. It's a great, great short track with a great history. But that Major League Soccer Stadium presents a big issue. Take a look at the fairground complex and what is proposed with a brand new stadium. You can see that brand new stadium, it is nestled very close to the existing speedway. In fact, it is tucked up really close to the grandstands and the press box of the speedway as it is. So if the speedway wants to expand, it has hardly any room to do so with that Major League Soccer Stadium. They have an issue of the creek nearby. They have an issue of housing nearby. Where would any one park and go to be able to be at a top tier NASCAR race? So, there's a definite roadblock with NASCAR having an event back at Nashville at the Fairground Speedway because of this Major League Soccer Stadium. Not only because of what is proposed, but it really seems like the town of Nashville is backing the ma Major League Soccer Stadium more than NASCAR racing. You see, an overall of the fairgrounds is already underway to make room for the 275 million soccer stadium and surrounding mixed-use development. The new Expo Center and Fair Buildings, which are moving to the northeast of the site, are expected to be operational by August. You see, this is already happening. There are no track expansions happening, but you already have underway the construction of a brand new Major League Soccer Stadium. And I'm sure with Nashville already having a NFL team, the Titans, having an NHL team, the Predators, they're looking to add to the town portfolio of professional sports, and it's not NASCAR right now, it's Major League Soccer. It seems, again, that they are behind Major League Soccer more than NASCAR. You have from Zach Hunt, he states, We remain committed to being a good neighbor and strong partner with all existing fairgrounds users and stakeholders and are focused on delivering a state-of-the-art soccer stadium that all of Nashville will be able to enjoy. Hunt said, we will continue to work with the Fair Board, Metro Council, and the Mayor's Office as they make other important improvements to the fairground. If you notice in that statement, yes, they want to be good neighbors with the Speedway, they want to be good neighbors with all the people around the fairground complex, but they are focused. They are committed. They are locked in in building this major league soccer stadium, which Tony Formosa, the track operator, has already said that things would become so close in the fairground complex that he wouldn't even be sure if they would be able to put on weekly races, much less have one of the top three NASCAR Premier Series come and race there wouldn't be no room for expansion at all. Not only is that an issue, but you find that there seems to be a burr in the saddle of the relationship between the Speedway and the town. Listen to this. I cannot come to residence with any negotiations regarding the track when the operator continues to violate this contract and community trust, Sledge says. That's Colby Sledge. 
He further says, these regulations and deadlines have been in place for years. I want to have a productive conversation regarding the track, but it is impossible with the operator's continued violations. So, you can see the town and the track apparently aren't getting along in these violations. What are these violations? Apparently, they are violations to the charter and the contract from the owners and the operator with the town because the Nashville fairground is in a unique situation. It's not privately owned as is other speedways. It's on a municipal property, a fairground complex. It's basically leased out over and over and over through a charter system. Well, there are rules in place, such as, and what apparently has been violated, the town is stating that there have been races or practices in midweek time zone, time slots that were during school time, apparently that's a violation, and that practices have went beyond the time in which they're supposed to go. So basically the track has a curfew and that has been violated. When you put it all together, NASCAR and the track itself has not presented a viable financial option. You have this Major League Soccer Stadium and other buildings being built within the fairground complex that would make an expansion of the track almost impossible. And you have a relationship between the track and the town that seems to be soured. Put it all together and the fairground speedway, it may not even have much of a future much less having a NASCAR date. So, if you're in Nashville, I highly recommend reach out to somebody that represents you in local government and re reach out to someone that represents you in the government of Tennessee and begin the dialogue and begin the discussion if you want to see racing even apparently stay at the fairground speedway or get a NASCAR date. But, if NASCAR doesn't return to Nashville and the Fairground Speedway, I have a solution, possibly. And let me put this before you and pose a question of something that would, as a solution, bring us another short track venue and, for NASCAR, cover a market venue gap that they currently have. The solution that I propose on this video to you fans is this. There is a short track that NASCAR can go to outside of Nashville, outside of Bristol, still be in Tennessee, and cover a venue gap that they currently have. And that raceway is Memphis International Speedway. It's a motorsports complex that's situated in a market that sits in a gap of NASCAR visits of its venues. As you can see, it sits in between Texas Motor Speedway and Bristol Motor Speedway, it would cover that market gap of western Tennessee and Arkansas and northern Mississippi, even to some degree Louisiana, that NASCAR currently has. And being in the town of Memphis, you're still in a large market that is already well known and accustomed to visitors to places such as Bill Street, the Blues, and Graceland. Memphis International Speedway is a three-quarters mile paved trial that has 11 degrees of banking with 1,100 foot backstretch and they would just really need to add seating for this venue, an expansion, and they could hold a top tier NASCAR event. And they also have done that in the past. They've had Xfinity and the Truck Series come and race there. So if things do not work out for Nashville, there's hope for you fans in Tennessee, but also for you fans in Arkansas that maybe NASCAR could look at, could invest in and expand Memphis International Speedway and we still get our short track racing and we help another venue and have a great event of NASCAR racing and it be a win-win for fans and NASCAR in Western Tennessee. So I hope that things do get figured out in Nashville, that we have racing in Nashville, but why not? Maybe we can go racing in Memphis as well. Now, I'd like in. 
And I ask you, would you please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and get involved. Maybe we can have racing again in Nashville. Get involved that we might have racing at Memphis. Get involved because, folks, people do listen to you as a fan. Look what NASCAR has already began to do. Well, until next time, I'm Lee Kraft, Monday Morning Racer. God bless and keep the pedal to the metal.